Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm the author of many books on drawing everything from cartoons to fashion to figure drawing. Today's book is The Beginner's Fashion Design Studio. And I'd like to show you some tricks about fashion design. Fashion design isn't just about fashion. It starts with a pose. And there are very simple ways you can start a pose and make it fashionable and stylish. But you have to know the trick, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's start with this one first. This pose here, how do you get that style into that type of a pose? Well, let me give you some hints. Well, first, we're going to draw just a character. And it's going to keep it very, very simple, very kind of a, well, a stick figure, but a basic figure. We'll start with a head here. Here is a neck. And we'll just lay it out. Here, is, here are the shoulders, nice and wide. Wider than the head, much wider than the head. And here is the torso, but the hips start very high up. So the waist is a very high waist. Like that. And I'm going to show you how to turn this into a fashionable pose. Let's bring this down to the, the knees coming down. They always come at an angle. comes out because the, the hips are very wide. So they don't come straight down. They have to come in. So just remember that too. Okay. The, the knees. The calf bone bends a little bit, and here is the foot coming straight at us. It's a little foreshortened, which means it looks a little like it's been flattened because of the angle. It's coming right at us. I'm going to make this a little lower. That's yeah, better. Making adjustments as we go. Now I'm going to make the head smaller. A fashion head is usually on the small side, and they're usually tall. The figures are tall. They can be up to 12 heads high which is very tight, even higher. All right, so let's get this here, and I will show you how to adjust this and do something very cool with a pose. All right, we're going to put the shoulders here and arms behind the head for this character. Let's give her, let's give her a nice kind of stylish haircut, something just very basic for the face. Two lips here. Nose here, and then I'll I'll darken this in with my pen in a moment. Okay, now so nothing's really going on with this pose. I mean it's, I mean symmetrical. It works, but it doesn't look particularly fashionable. So what are we going to do? I'll tell you. Only one thing that will make all the difference. Watch this. We're going to shift the shoulders. Like that. We're going to shift the shoulders so one shoulder is higher than the other. Like that. This is high. This is low. This comes in more now. It straightens out. See that? Because this is this is down, so it pushes this waistline in. This is high, so it stretches this waistline out. And because this 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 waist is out on this side, it'll and this will straighten this this leg because this pulls it up, so straighten this leg, as it is, but this leg is crunched in, so this won't come in a little further. Like that. I can make this foot go out to the side a little because of that. Now let's bring this neck in a little. So it doesn't just sit on the collarbone, it comes in. And here is the collarbone. You notice the collarbone is higher now on this side than on this side. So let's fill in some of the legs. And it's very loose. They're just the basic beginnings of a pose. That. 
let's give this a little bit of a dark treatment here so we can see what's going on because it gets kind of messy after a while. And this goes up and this is pulled down. crunches in here and it straightens out here and it straightens out as we said straightens out pretty much here's the waist the crimp in the waist we'll get that kind of a leotard look and leotard look down here too round off the top of the leg a lot of muscle there on the top of the leg That's foreshortened again. It looks like it's coming toward us, so it's kind of abbreviated. And this leg comes here, and the toe almost points. And we're going to, because of that, we'll put a little shadow under it. Indication of the knee. Let's give her a little eye with a few eyelashes. It's, my pen is too thick, but okay. We'll, kind of, we'll make do with what we have. And we'll even have the shirt, the top part of the leotard, come up. Oh, actually, that should come down. That should come down. All right, so we'll do it like this. There we go. And here, shut up this way. And so let's see how we did. Did we come close to it at all? Yeah, I think it came close to it. A little different, but then there's always difference when you draw something, but, you know, freehand without, uh, you know, you're not tracing it or something. You bring some liveliness to it, a little difference. But it's a lot better than sitting there just straight. So a fashion pose like this is good for your fashion clothes. I hope you enjoyed that. The book is called The Beginner's Fashion Design Studio, and I hope you'll check it out. And I upload new videos every Monday, so please subscribe and thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.